name is Patty Chan and I'm from the Toronto Chinese Orchestra and today we're going to be speaking with Annika. Hi Annika. Hi Patty. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? I'm okay. Um, how have you been during these months of social distancing? Uh, I've been doing pretty well. I've been trying to make the most out of the time that I have. Uh huh. And I guess uh, like for school uh, we have virtual classes and I think they're going better than in-person classes because I save a lot of like commuting time like around mm. two to three hours a day. Wow <laughs> that's a huge difference. I've been yeah I live kind of far from my school yeah. So now you can sleep in. Yeah I can sleep in and I have more time to practice. <laughs> and then the school year is beginning again will you be doing the commute or will you still be doing mostly online? Uh, for me I chose to do um, all online for the first semester. Yeah. yeah, see how it goes, and then, um, cause normally at school we also have music events, but I don't think they're happening this year, so there's right. really like, no point in going back to school. Yeah, yeah, wait till, wait till the music events come back, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. And how about you tell a little bit about um, what what instrument do you play in, at TCO? Uh, at TCO I play the keyboard shum, and then sometimes I play the kujum. And what other instruments do you play? Um, okay, so um, I guess in school my friends are trying to teach me the soprano um, saxophone. Wow. It has been pretty interesting because we haven't really seen each other due to COVID. But um, I guess the main instruments in my life are violin and piano. And you're also be going to be doing all, all those examinations for violin and piano too coming up, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to do my ARCT for both of them as fast as possible. So I've been memorizing a lot of music, yeah. And do you have a favorite instrument? Uh, I would say violin because I take it anywhere I go. It's like really easy to, like for piano, I can't really take that everywhere. And then um, for gurung and keyboard shang, they're also really big instruments. So uh -huh. I guess I really like violin and also in the orchestra sometimes I get the spotlight if I'm concert master or soloist. Right. <laughs> and, and what made you decide to learn the guzheng? Because that's a Chinese traditional instrument and you're here in Canada. So what what made you decide to pick up that instrument? Uh, I remember when I was like grade three maybe. I think um we had at Yips we had like a Chinese instrument camp and my mom was like okay you can go for like a week and then um that's where I met my teacher Miss Miriam and uh yeah so I basically started lessons from then and you really liked it uh yeah I guess <laughs> <laughs> that's good and then um well what made you decide to go to TCO then uh so I guess like when I was younger my teacher would like invite my family to come watch TCO performances and at that time, my brother and I were like, oh, that's really cool. But then um, we didn't really have the time to join because we were in a lot of other youth orchestras. And then uh, when I was in grade five, um, both of us, we went to national music camp. And that's where um, I chose choir as my elective, but my main instrument was violin. And then that's where uh, Elaine Choi and her husband were like, oh, oh you should come to TCO. <laughs> and then... Um, I remember they were also testing my Chinese, so that was really funny. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's a very interesting way to discover TCO. Yeah. 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 And do you, what makes you decide to stay in TCO? After how many years have you been with us now? Uh, I think I joined Taiko in 2015, and then we left for a year. And then I think my mom bumped into you at the music store, so we joined back in 2017. Right. And um, I really like, like, they have a lot of nice people like you at TCO. And it also gives me, like, a lot of opportunities to play music with other people who are really passionate about music, like, especially Chinese music. Mm -hmm. And I guess this orchestra feels really special to me and my brother because um, we've been in a lot of youth Western orchestras. Right. And, like, the first time we saw, like, a huge Chinese orchestra is really, really cool for us. And, like, the instruments and everything, yeah, I just really like playing with the orchestra. 
Oh, that's great. And we really like having you and Marcus there. But now Marcus is so is, has gone away to school. Yeah. So hopefully when he comes back, he can come play with us again. And hopefully we can actually have in-person rehearsals one day. <laughs> yeah. So what, what do you want to um, study when you go to, away to university? Do you know yet? Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but I think I kind of want to do either like computer science or data science. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Very technical. Uh, yeah. Well, oh, okay, that's great. And I guess I, I think a good question to ask you, since you're still a teenager, um, who has, like, who has had the greatest impact in your life? Uh, okay, probably my brother, because um, when I was small, I followed him a lot everywhere. And um, I started piano because of him, and I also started violin because he was playing the violin actually and I kept taking his violin which is why he switched to cello oh <laughs> but yeah so um like I guess like a lot of things that I do right now are because of him including like air cadets and other things I also started that because he was in it first wow <laughs> so you really you really looked up to your big brother uh yeah I guess but also because like everywhere he went like if you joined air cadets my parents wouldn't let me join other things because they, they couldn't drag both of us. So oh. it kind of forced me to go with him. But right. like, in the end, I think I really like like what I'm doing right now. Oh, that's good. So it all worked out well. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, a more casual question. What is your favorite food? Uh, I don't really have a favorite food. Um, I eat a lot of rice because my dad makes a lot of rice. But like otherwise, I think I kind of eat everything yeah oh okay that's a very easy going yeah <laughs> so, so we can take you anywhere to eat yeah okay well i think you you have to i guess probably get ready for school and all those things and i hope that we will be able to play again together soon yeah um, but at least we get to play together virtually um, yeah. with some projects on the go and uh um, I think hopefully you will be able to play both the Sheng and the Gu in, in the upcoming projects. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, thanks for speaking with us today. And I hope to see you soon. Yeah, okay. Bye. Bye. -bye.